The occupation army of the aggressor country, the Russian Federation, is making desperate attempts to consolidate its positions in the north of the Kharkiv region. The Kharkiv Regional Defense Forces of the Armed Forces of Ukraine announced on its Telegram channel. According to the Ukrainian military, the Russian armed forces invaders are afraid of losing the captured territories in the north of the Kharkiv region, so they are taking firefighting measures. In the Staritsa area, the enemy, in order to prevent the loss of the occupied position, carried out the movement of small groups of two servicemen from the 2nd Motorized Rifle Battalion of the 72nd Motorized Rifle Division of the 44th Army Corps of the Russian Armed Forces in their positions for the purpose of urgent evacuation of medical losses, the Ukrainian Armed Forces emphasized. Ukrainian military also report that in the frontline town of Volchansk in the Kharkov region, Russian invaders have brought personnel to zero and in the area of Glubako, they have carried out an emergency regrouping of their assault groups. Recently, Russian forces struck Kharkiv with three air bombs, resulting in injuries among civilians. 21 people, including 10 and 12-year-old children, sought medical help as a result of the shelling. The bombs fell Saturday night on the district of Shevchenkivsky, north of the center of Kharkiv, which is the second largest Ukrainian city, local government Ole Sinihubov said. Residential buildings sustained varying degrees of damage, including 16 and nine-story buildings. He added, Kharkiv's city council said that 18 buildings were damaged. The wounded included an eight-year-old child, according to Sinihubov and Kharkiv mayor Ihor Terekov. Terekov said that 60 residents were evacuated from one of the buildings, a high-rise that was hit directly. Kharkiv has been a frequent target of Russian attacks since Moscow launched its all-out invasion of neighboring Ukraine in February 2022. Late on Friday, 15 people, including children aged 10 and 12, were wounded when Russian airstrikes hit three Kharkiv neighborhoods, Terekov said. Ukrainian officials said that cab-type aerial glide bombs, a retrofitted Soviet weapon that has, for months, laid waste to eastern Ukraine, were used in both attacks. There are dozens of Russian ammunition depots within range of the Ukrainian Defense Forces weapons, noted Ukrainian military political observer Alexander Kovalenko. Considering the range of our kamikaze drones, 2,500 kilometers, there are 42 warehouses in this zone. But not all of them are 100% or even 50% full, and some are completely empty, the expert said. According to him, five of the most filled warehouses are located in the immediate reach zone in the Russian Federation. Currently, the armed forces of Ukraine are working on targets with maximum capacity, and then they will work on the rest, a slightly different category, Kovalenko is confident. Recall that on September 18, the Ukrainian defense forces struck a huge ammunition depot in Toropets, Tver Oblast, Russia. British intelligence said that more than 30,000 tons of ammunition were stored there, and that this attack would have a negative impact on Russia's ground operations, particularly in Kursk Oblast. On September 21, Ukrainian fighters struck the Russian Tykoretsk arsenal in Krasnodar Krai and the 23rd arsenal in Tver Oblast. According to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, the second warehouse contained tactical missiles and guided bombs. He noted that the warehouse that was hit by SBU fighters contained tactical missiles and guided bombs, everything that Russia uses for terror against our cities, our positions. And I want to emphasize, we are doing this thanks to our capabilities, our weapons, without the means that our partners can provide and that can significantly speed up the end of this war by destroying Russia's offensive potential, Zelensky said.
Sponsor. 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 Sponsor.